again. The weather is going to change in the forthcoming week, but we're going to have to be patient before we see any significant rainfall towards the end of the week as low pressure moves in off the Atlantic. For the moment, we have high pressure. It's still to the north of Scotland. As you can see from those isobars, quite tightly packed, so a drying easterly wind through both today, Monday and Tuesday. And for the moment, we have very little cloud across the British Isles, some down that eastern part of Scotland. The cloud up in the far north, up towards the Northern Isles, may be thick enough to give one or two spots of drizzle. Now, the real change today, not just because of the strength of the wind, but also a little bit more in the way of clouds moving along the southern parts of England, and that could be thick enough to give one or two spots of rain. But the rain, very light and certainly very patchy, those showers rather isolated. Gale force winds down the English Channel. The best temperature around 21 degrees, so a lot cooler, a fresher feel to the air up in the north of Scotland, only 11 degrees for the Northern Isles. Now, in terms of temperatures during the night time, these temperatures tonight are representative for the rest of the week, really. A frost-free week, the minimum temperature around 7 degrees, and the winds staying quite strong, I think, through Monday and Tuesday because we have that low pressure moving off the near continent, and it brings that weather front reasonably close to the southwest of England, perhaps up in towards the south of Wales as well, so one or two showers likely here. By Wednesday, high pressure stays with us. One or two cold fronts just moving down through the North Sea, bringing one or two showers down that eastern part of Scotland. Now, here's the change. This area of low pressure moving in from the Atlantic, it brings those weather fronts into the southwest, so it's the west of the British Isles that's likely to see the more cloud and certainly some outbreaks of rain, especially through Friday and Saturday. Now, the winds are quite strong at the moment, a strong easterly breeze, good for drying things, I think, for harvesting of both silage and also for any of the crops to be harvested this time of year. A dry wind, but the wind is going to ease off. And then we start to see a stronger south or southeasterly wind developing as that area of low pressure moves up from the southwest during the course of Thursday and Friday. Now, the forecast through both Monday and Tuesday, very similar. Some showers developing in central southern, the southwest England down into South Wales. Elsewhere, a dry story, the temperatures around 19 or 20 Celsius, and still rather a lot of cloud up in the far north of Scotland and down the eastern part of Scotland, some mist and low cloud near the coast. Now, Wednesday's forecast keeps those showers going. They're going to be isolated and generally rather light, so no significant rainfall totals. Now, as we move through Thursday, it generally clouds over from the southwest as that weather front approaches, and that's where we're going to see some more persistent rain by Friday, and that rain gradually working its way up the western side of the country through Friday and Saturday. Bye for now.